Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the fourth edition of 7 Support Tips in Under 2 Minutes, or as I like to call it, 7 Quickies. Today, we will be covering the newest support to League of Legends, Seraphine, a KDA pop star who is ready to charm the enemy team with her sweet, soothing voice. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button for more content like this, and hit that like button if you do end up enjoying this video. Alright, without further ado, here are 7 support tips you need to learn for Seraphine in under 2 minutes. Tip number 1. For support, the most important enhanced echo ability is to get a double E. By either rooting or stunning your enemy, your team can more easily follow up for a kill. A target that is CC'd will significantly help land your Q ability. Tip number 2. Consider running the Guardian Keystone rune when playing a more defensive style. Having that extra 150 HP shield for both you and your carry can help you survive longer in both laning and teamfights. Your W ability can also provide a small heal when Guardian is procced. Tip number 3. Your passive causes your auto attacks to be enhanced both in range and damage every time you use an ability near an ally. You can use these notes to harass turrets from afar or to maximize her damage outputs in teamfights. Tip number 4. The range on Seraphine's ultimate ability is insanely long, and can be extended if it hits an ally or an enemy. Try to position yourself far back in teamfights, and purposefully use your ultimate to charm all enemies ahead of you. This can be easily followed up by an Echo E ability for the additional CC. Tip number 5. Seraphine's abilities have a very slow projectile speed. Make sure to learn how to use your E plus flash combo to surprise the enemy with an immediate route. The ability comes out just a fraction of a second faster than Flash plus E and will make it slightly harder for the enemy to dodge the CC. Tip number 6. Use your W haste ability to speed up allies into a teamfight. Even though you won't get the healing portion, getting to teamfights first provides your team with a huge numbers advantage. By the time your team is actually low health from the teamfight, you can use an Echo W to heal them back a significant amount. Tip number 7. In Season 11, you will want to rush this mythic item, Imperial Mandate. This item can be easily procced with your kit since you will be applying a bunch of slows when combined with Rylai's. You can very easily burst the enemy champion every 4 seconds with a damage proc of over 200 damage in the early to mid game. Nice, we finished right on time. If you have any important tips that I may have missed, or you want to let me know which of these 7 quickies were most helpful, please let me know in the comments below. I reply to every single comment. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit that like button and consider hitting that subscribe button too. It really, really does help. Also, I do stream League on Twitch, so please feel free to come by and hang out with our community. Check the description box below to know when I go live. With these 7 tips, you are ready to play Seraphine in Summoner's Rift ranked solo queue. See y'all in Diamond. Streamers Untotable Untotable That's gonna be uh you know uh fascinating transition. Yeah.